Hey, what's going on guys? So I hope that at some point you've seen my green backpack here. What this is is a 3V Gear Velox 2. I originally picked this up because it's affordable. It's not like a $300 backpack, which I've always thought was ridiculous. Uh, these are really affordable. I think they're in like the $45 to $55 price range, somewhere in there. So really awesome. And it's good quality. That's what I've also been impressed with is the quality for an affordable bag. So 3V Gear. I liked what I saw with this. I went and picked up a more subtle backpack, which is the Sobrosa Urban Assault Pack. Um, just gives you the size of 17 high, 13 wide, five and a half deep. Um, this thing's really sweet, although I'm still coming up with an official opinion on it um, before I do like a full review on that. What today's video is about is this little guy right here. And what this is, is the 3V Gear Nautilus. So what this is, is a 15 liter waterproof dry bag. The dimensions on this are nine by 21. And it also comes with a little strap here and it's supposed to be waterproof. So that's what we intend to test today. Um, it's going to be a pretty basic test as far as just like kind of an elemental thing if it sat out in the rain or maybe some snow, which it happens to be snowing right now. And I happen to have an idea in mind for that. So. I've got a hoodie loaded up in here right now and the way this opens up is exactly like you just saw you just roll the top to seal it up and it's got clip on each side clip them together and you're good to go in theory this should be waterproof all right so here's our gear here's our bag all deflated uh, you can actually like roll it up and it becomes quite small if you need it to be you can throw it in a backpack if you want it um, here's what my test is going to be it's really simple I'm going to throw a jacket in here because I don't know if this thing's waterproof yet, so I don't want to destroy some important electronics or something like that. Um, I'm going to throw a hoodie in here, and then on top of that hoodie, I'm going to throw a paper towel, which will show if things get wet. So, stuff that jacket down in there. I mean, it swallows it up pretty good. That's the amount that's actually full. Still got plenty of room left. We're gonna take this dry paper towel. When this stuff gets wet, it turns like dark blue. So I'm going to throw this just right on top of everything. So if any water starts sinking in, it will hit that paper towel and we will know immediately. So I talked with the guys at 3B Gear and I asked them what they suggest for a waterproof seal. They say the absolute minimum that they could suggest is a two-fold seal. They suggest going three or more. So there's 180 degrees that would be considered one and then another 180 degrees that's two which would be their minimum i'm gonna go three because i'm testing this for myself and this is the minimum that i would do for my own equipment so i'm gonna fold it over three times get this strap out of the way buckle it up so it's ready to go it's actually pretty airtight like kind of a pillow thing um so I got my hoodie in here, got my paper towel. Let's go throw it in the shower real quick. We'll rinse it all off. I'll throw it in all sorts of weird angles up into the seal up here and see what we can come up with. And then we're gonna go out in the snow and really abuse it and throw a warm object in a pile of snow and see if any of the water melting on it finds its way into the bag. Then we'll come back in here, crack it open and find out. All right guys, so I'm here in the bathroom, got a camera on, this isn't weird. Fire up the shower. Got her bag. Got her so I really want to get around the seal from up top and like upside down to where the water is going to get into it. I'm going to rinse on this thing all around the bag, in the bottom, on the top. Like I say, sideways and upside down, trying to get water in that seal. As we can see, it's nice and wet. We're gonna take this thing outside, throw it in a snowstorm, and see if it stays dry. Well, as promised, got some snow. I gotta shovel my driveway, so. Throw that thing over there. Before we do, let's actually smother this thing. Drag it around, push it into the snow. My hands are numb now, that's cool. I'm gonna throw it there and I'm gonna cover it up in some snow, see how she does.
All right, we got the driveway shoveled. Got the dog here, she's happy. And we got a buried bag in here somewhere. It's right there. And it's been out here for 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so. Cool, let's go check it out, see if it's still dry. All right guys, I brought this thing right back into my reloading room. You can see here the strap's still got snow on it. This thing's completely frozen still. Out of the way. So, let's crack open this bag. It went through a shower. I buried it like four times while shoveling. And then I even stopped the time lapse and continued shoveling my driveway after that. So let's crack it open. Let's see here. If we open this thing up. Trying to dry my hands off a little bit. That paper towel looks good and dry. This corner just touched the bag a little bit. But yeah, let me show you what like, so if it gets wet, it'll turn dark blue like that. So yeah, I just dried off the bag and that's what got it wet. My hoodie, got that thing out of here. It's dry, it's just cold. Awesome. So this little 3V gear, Nautilus 15 liter bag. This thing looks like it'll work awesome. Uh, I need to get out to a lake and like dump it in there. But as you saw the weather, not gonna be going to a lake anytime soon. I will test that out later this summer though. As you can see here up by the seal, so like water will get down in there. But as long as you go with that two and then I did the third, uh, I think it'll stay dry. The best part about this, guys, is this thing's affordable. I think this is like $18. So for 20 bucks, get yourself a dry gear bag. They do make a larger version. This is the smaller version, the 15 liter. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. I, uh, I'm starting to grow. I'm starting to become a fan of this little guy right here. I'm excited to use it out this summer. You can throw whatever you want to stay dry in there, maybe even including your towel. So if you want a dry towel, throw it in your dry gear bag. Well, all right guys, that was something a little bit different for my channel. I really appreciate you sticking with me this far. I do have Amazon affiliate links in the description where you can pick up the 3V gear stuff. You can buy whatever you want through that link as long as you start your search with that link. Thanks so much guys, I really appreciate it. Catch you guys in the next video.